Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Click Digest. And if you are in market to look for something really stylish, which stands out from the crowd, and looking for a really good-looking phone, the Vivo X5 Pro may just be the right candidate. In this video, I'm going to review the same for you. Let's find out how good this phone is, and is it worth the price that you are paying for it? Let's get started. Starting with the design of the phone, the phone looks stunning. It has the glass and metal design which uses a very slim design overall with around 6.4 mm of thickness. The sides and shell is made of metal whereas it uses uh, glass in front as well as back. On the front you will also find a beautiful 5.2 inch full high definition display with the color production and the viewing angles which are just amazing. The display quality is very vivid and gives you beautiful colors and nice saturation. It comes with a super AMOLED display which is full high definition and comes with a pixel density of 424 ppi with the 5.2 inch display. There is a SIM card slot on the right hand side bottom which gives you an option of a dual SIM or one SIM with a micro SD card slot in the second slot. So the second SIM slot is a hybrid slot where you can either put a second SIM card or a micro SD card. On top of the SIM tray there is power wake up key and on top of that there is a volume rocker. Both of them are finished in metal and feel very nice. There are some antenna bands to the sides and bottom. On the bottom you would find charging port and two grills one of which is a speaker grill. On top there is a 3.5mm standard audio port. There is a front facing camera which is 8 megapixels and there is a rear facing 13 megapixel camera which is slightly protruding from the surface of the phone. There is also LED flash next to it, Vivo branding at the rear and the phone looks very nice from all the sides with rounded and tapering edges and it does not feel sharp from any side, it feels very nice and comfortable to hold in hand. Well that's a lot about the design. What about the display quality? We played video and we played audio as well and we found that the audio and video quality both are very good on this phone. Talking about the camera performance, the 13 megapixel rear shooter comes loaded with a lot of camera modes and options to shoot with. It gives you good quality pictures which are detailed, well balanced in terms of colors and are very sharp. The front facing 8 megapixel camera also does a good job and captures a lot of details. You can record full high definition videos with both front as well as rear cameras on this phone. Talking about benchmarks and specifications, it is part with a Snapdragon 615 chipset which is not among the best that we have seen but still it does a good job on this phone. It can play moderate to heavy games like the Frontline Commando 2 with ease. And with the optimizations done at software level, it does not get uncomfortably hot. Yes, it does heat up because there is an intrinsic heating problem with the Snapdragon 615 chipset, but it still remains under control when it comes to heating. The performance in gaming and the overall performance of the phone does not show any sort of stutters or problems and it performs really well. The internet browsing experience on this 5.2 inch AMOLED display is also a treat to the eyes. The colors pop out, the overall scrolling experience is smooth and the phone does a good job. When it comes to specs, it uses 2GB of RAM which is usually good for most of the applications. So the internet browsing experience as well as the overall software interface is fairly smooth when using on this phone. Also it runs the Android Lollipop 5.0 and supports feature like moving apps to SD card as well as it supports USB OTG pen drive. Talking of blotware, there is not much of pre-installed applications but there are a few useful applications which come pre-installed and I do not mind such applications. Per se there is not much of a blotware, so much to bother you. Talking of battery life and battery capacity, there is a 2450 mAh battery on this phone. Considering that it's a super slim phone, it's a good battery capacity that you would find on a phone of this size. It should be good enough for moderate users for one full day of usage. But if you're a heavy user, it will not last one full day because there is a large screen, a lot of performance oriented processor, as well as a lot of graphics bar with this phone. And if you use it aggressively, you will run out of juice before the end of the day. 
talking about value for money and whether you should buy this phone it is kind of subjective if you're a performance junkie you can buy this phone but you will run into battery issues but if you are someone who is looking for a smart looking phone which is solid sturdy and looks good and you are not a performance junkie and not a heavy user you can go for this phone easily it will give you a very good display and audio performance it will also give you very good camera performance overall specifications and features are also well loaded so it is a very good loaded phone when it comes to the overall feature set and is priced around 25000 rupees in india which is not very high considering the style quotient of this phone if you want to purchase one of these for yourself i'm leaving direct links in the description section below where you can pick up one for the best price this is all we have on this video if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below for more such videos make sure you hit the red subscribe button i hope to see you on my next video this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching Oh